hey, you just think lah. You just imagine. You talk to your boss like that. You are the stingy person. You are the hard one. Say, I don't like you. <laughs> what the boss can do? You go lah. You. <laughs> he doesn't like his master, and he doesn't trust his master, and he doesn't know his master. You don't like your boss. You don't like your company. Better don't work there lah. Why you stay there? I like this parable very much. It tells us a lot of things. A few days ago, I read a reading from Saint Teresa of Charles Jesus. She mentioned something about purgatory. Since this month is the month of the souls, ah, uh, she mentioned that if we have enough trust and faith in God of His mercy and love, actually God will lead us through. We do not need to go through purgatory. We can straight away go heaven. Many of his sisters in the convent, especially one of the sisters, against and said, "God is a just God, and all of us are sinner. All of us have to go through purgatory in some ways." And this is most. Of our thinking, you know, many people think like that. Do you think that you can go straight to heaven? Sometimes we have that kind of thinking that, yeah, somehow I I have to go to purgatory first, lah. Poor thing, poor thing. So Saint Teresa of Child Jesus is always trusting in the love of God and His mercy. If we have trust God enough of His mercy and love, we will receive a merciful God. We will encounter a merciful God rather than a God that is so harsh and so how to say. As a judge, always there. Yes, God is justice. Love and justice is parallel. But somehow, this is the time of mercy. We need to trust God as our loving Father. Sometimes we forget this part. Why I tell you these things from Saint Teresa? Because today the gospel, if you carefully look at it, it tells us something very important. This lazy and unfaithful servant, the main mistake he made is not because he didn't make his talent gain. What is the main mistake he made? He see his master as a hard and stingy person. He doesn't like his master basically. This is very serious. Sometimes in our lives, we don't like this, we don't like that. Just imagine you work in a company, you don't like your boss, you don't like your company. Better don't work there, lah. Why you stay there? This fella, he told the master, "I have heard you were a hard man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered." You know, the first thing he said to the master was. You are the hard one. Hey, you just think lah. You talk to your boss like that. You are the stingy person. You are the hard one. Therefore, I do like that. The first word that he came out from his mouth, he already offends the master. Sometimes our thought, our thinking, sometimes in our life we offend God. You know, we think our God is a stingy God. We think our God is very hard and mean to our lives. By that thinking, ah, I tell you, you will suffer in life. He doesn't like his master, and he doesn't trust. His master, and he doesn't know his master. When Jesus gave this parable to his disciples, today is about the disciples. He tells him who God is, who is our Father in heaven is for us. Our God is a loving God, is a merciful God. He got abundant richness for his servants. This God that we believe and we trust in, He is the richest. He is the creator of everything. He does not need us to earn money for him. He does not need us to help him to build the kingdom of God, huh? But he invite us and join in his work. When God entrusted us five talents, two talents, or one talents, he wants to share his richness with us, and he wants us to make use of what he given us. Do you know who he is? If we always see God as a judge. To find ways to punish us, he is a punisher. Then we forget he is the loving one. The servant said, "I am afraid because you are so hard. I am afraid. Are you afraid of God? I'm not saying that fear of God. Fear of God is is a gift from the Holy Spirit. You know, when you receive confirmation, you receive one of the gift of the Holy Spirit is fear of God. When we say fear of God, means that uh, you respect God, you see God so great." You have a sense of awe. That is the fear of God. Fear of God is not worry. You scared of this God will punish you. All this, no. He came to save us, not to punish us. So just imagine you talk to your boss like that. You are hard man. Say I don't like you. <laughs> What the boss can do? You go lah. You, <laughs> you go, right? 
in our family also, I tell you, sometimes we don't like someone, we don't like our parents. Some young people today, they are so frustrated with their parents because they do not know their parents really. Maybe also the parents' problem also, never communicate, also avoiding communicate, be connected with the children. Always go for all these devices and we wasted a lot of important moments, times. We are just neglected all these chances to build the close relationship. What I want to say, if we do not like our parents or in the church, we do not like these leaders or whatever. If you do not like that person, it's your problem first. I'm not saying that that person do not have problems, but you surely have problems because you do not go and deal with it. You do not go and find out. So my brothers and sisters, today we are talking about our God. Our God is a loving and merciful God. He is always there for us. He never wants to be harsh to us. This is the sign of His love and mercy for us. If God is a harsh God, He's so mean for us, He would not die for us on the cross. We all have to be condemned to death. So my brothers and sisters, this is a sign of the mercy and love of God for us. Always remember, some of us, you may experience things happen in your life, not so good experience, and sometimes we blame God. We blame God and we judge God. I tell you, when you start judging God, that is your end time. <laughs> Never. The second thing is, our God is so rich and He got so much to give to us. These five talents, two talents or one talent, He just gives to us to learn how to make use of His treasure. God is calling us to do something, do this, do that. When God calling disciples in the Bible, Old Testament also, Abraham, Moses, all the prophets, King David, whoever called by name, God will give them the new name and God wants them to do for Him. It's not because God needs them, because God wants to share His greatness with them. God has given us so much in our life, but how often we make use of them. And here, very nicely put, he said, when God gave these talents to them, he said he gave them each in proportion to his ability. God gives you the talents to your ability. He doesn't give you something that you cannot manage. Whatever God gives you in life, or He asks you to go and do it, He gives you in proportion according to your ability. My grace is sufficient for you. God tells Paul, all of us, some receive more, you are expected more. How faithful are you? How trusting are you in His love and mercy? Today, how many people really always responding and searching for the will of God? And today the gospel is a parable to His disciples. My brothers and sisters, we need to be the disciples of Christ. We are here not just to fulfill our Sunday obligation. We are here to receive graces, the talents from God, so that we may learn how to be His disciples and to proclaim the good news to the world. Some people ask, even in our PPC meeting discussion, what is our vision and mission? I said, our only mission and vision, the most important one is from Jesus. It's from Jesus. And Jesus' mission, and He was commissioning the disciples before His ascension, was Matthew chapter 28. Make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And teach them all that I have told you. And that is the most important mission and vision from Jesus. And how to do that, that is another thing. Different community, different places, different nation, different culture, we have different way to go about it. So today we have all the boots, all the counter here to show you that what our parish doing, what are they? It's not just want to get more members or want to promote our ministries only, but at the bottom of all these works is to make disciples. Looking at your talents that God gives you in life, how can you make use of your talent to serve others and to make disciples? for yourself first. You yourself must become the disciples first and then you make disciples to others. So my brothers and sisters, yesterday we have the baptismal font, be blessed. The church, when we talk about liturgy, there are a few things that are very important. The altar, the Latin, and the baptismal font. This is the three things that always as the center of the liturgy. The altar is the body of Christ. The Latin is the mouthpiece of Christ, the word of God being proclaimed. And the baptismal font is the womb where new birth and new life come from. Make disciples of all nations. 
baptize them and then teach them. This is where the teaching here from the Latin. Let's baptize them and make disciples of all nations surround the altar to share Christ and become the body of Christ as one community. So my brothers and sisters, today we need to start looking into our life. We are not just come to be a Sunday Catholic. No, that's never the intention of Christ. Jesus wants us to be His disciples. And this year, PPA, we will focus on this. Be the disciples of Jesus. And then only we see how our parish set up each ministry how to use our talents and to fulfill this vision and mission of Christ. Okay, so let us pray. Everyone, every sector will prepare ourselves to come and discern and really rethink our role as a disciples, as a follower of Christ. The wicked servant was afraid. He afraid. Do not be afraid. Jesus said many times to his disciples, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid to go and give. Do not be afraid to serve. Do not be afraid to go to certain areas in our lives that we never encounter. Do not be afraid to get closer to God. When you are afraid, you will fall into the same thing that Adam and Eve, they are afraid. Therefore, they hid themselves. This servant, he was afraid. Therefore, he hid his talent. So don't hide yourself. Don't hide your talents. Come out. Jesus said, come out from the boat. Come out. Come down from the tree. He told Zacchaeus, come out from your tomb. He raised Lazarus. Come. Come. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go, make disciples of all nations and teach them what Jesus had told us.